Hey, it's Mark again, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. Today we're going to show everybody how to install our road noise insulation kit for the Model 3. We're going to explain all about it, where all the pieces go, and uh, it's super easy to install. EPDM sponge rubber should really dampen road noise from wheels, tires, uh, wind. So let's get started. And uh, what we're going to need is some rubbing alcohol, a towel, and a pair of scissors. So we're going to go back and show you guys everything in detail. So let's take a look at what you got in the package. So it's nice to have a nice towel to sit on or a uh, rug to lay it all out of. Basically, you're going to have four pieces, an A pillar, a B pillar, a front door seal, and a rear door seal. So there's the rear. Here's the front, and here are the A and B pillars. The A and B pillars have close-up photos where they showed way down here the insulation areas on the pillar itself. So that's the A pillar, and this is the B pillar. And again, this is looking at the front door, and then the door seals are here for each side. So why don't we get into it? All right, now we're gonna start on the front door seals. And uh, as you'll note, uh, these seals are an L shape. So we're gonna be covering the entire edge of the door, like in this photo, on the very edge, all the way down, all the way around, and all the way up. This is great for keeping water out, uh, car washes, rain. It's really gonna keep your door sills clean. So the front door sill has a, has a nice function. Uh, again, now we're going to have the same issue about right and left. Let's take a look at the package. And you'll notice the molded corners and how these work together to form the seal. So we'll put this one right here and this one right here. Now these, I believe, have to be opposite for the doors being right and left. So the longer piece as we run up the door sill, the door edge, and the wider piece is going to fit all along the bottom to keep wind, water, and air out. So we recommend that you start again with the uh, tape removal, but we're going to position it where we want it first. So. Before you take the tape off, put it right down on here. Take a look at where it's designed to go, how it's going to fit, and uh, this is really going to keep a lot of road noise from entering the door and entering into the cabin. So let's get started. And of course, now when we get to the top, we are going to trim it off when we get all the way up to the top. So let's peel off this edge after one more quick clean with alcohol. And again, the left side, the driver's side, has the skinny edge going up and the wider edge running under the door. So let's start with this. And removing the tape. One section at a time. So take it in your right and left hand, place the bottom seal right on the lip, right where it's going to go, which is right on this edge of the door, and this edge here, and hold it in place, and then we're just going to start pressing on the seal. Now you don't want to stretch it, you just want to put it in place and press it down. This stuff holds great, you don't have to worry. Peel back another few inches, go all the way up. And as long as you stay on this inside edge, you'll be fine. You don't wanna see this from outside the car. And it doesn't matter if it's straight or a little crooked. Peel off 
off some more backing tape all the way up. Press, press, press. up to the top then just use your hand slide it down pressure on both sides and put pressure on the adhesive so it really grabs then right at the very top cut it back on an angle and stick it right underneath the rubber seal that's part of the trim on the door so it's nice and clean looking and again, more pressure all the way down. And you should have about eight inches of leftover foam. And then now we're gonna wipe the bottom of the door off. One last time, all the way down. Peel off the red tape from behind this edge. start adhering it. Now again, this is designed to sit flat against this lip. That way this seal will bend as it meets the mating part of the door, preventing a nice solid seal and so again same thing, pressure, pressure, this is a hollow sponge rubber seal, so you don't have to worry about it. A lot of people really like the sound of the doors closing now. It's a fuller sound or a solid, more solid sound. Peel it all the way off, all the way down to the end. And we'll see how much we're going to need to trim off. But it might not be much at all. Yep, exactly. None to trim off. So right now you feel with your fingers and you're flush here on this lip. All the way down. And if you go a little high, just adjust a little bit. No trimming at the end a perfect length now from this low angle let's, let's close the door and listen to it hear how different it sounds so from the outside of the car nothing looks different you can't tell if you get down real low you're gonna seal see where the seal is folded over on this edge so it should make quite a bit of difference Seal. All right. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay. All right, let's move on to the B pillar seal. Rear door seal. Once you open the package up, you're going to have two long strips. You have to identify which is the right side, which is the left side. The right side of the car has the door seal on the edge. So this is the left side. And again, this is determined by holding each end and realizing this is the top. The top is the sealed end. So just simply peel off the backing tape and trim it as needed. And then we're going to take this adhesive seal and run it down the edge so the opening 
just like this so that the pressure is going to collapse the seal and keep it more airtight, for lack of a better word. So position it right here, all the way up to this point. And you don't want this visible on the outside, just use the door edge as your area to, to stick it down on. And you can see how the pressure is going to keep this collapsed and keep sound and wind out. So I'll bring it over here for all of us. Stay on the inside edge. Don't, don't wrap it outside. You can see how the pressure of this is going to really make this hold on nicely. So we're going to have double seals now. This is the Tesla OEM seal, of course. And this is really going to keep water and moisture out. Okay, open it up some more. And again, stay inside the car. Just let it just hang and touch the pressure on it. All the way to the end. Then we'll snip it right on the end. About here. Cut it. Lift it up. Adjust it. Now again, pressure is where it sits against the door edge. Put a lot of pressure on it. You don't want it to have any gaps or air, so dirt, uh, dirt gets under. And now you'll understand the function of this seal and the direction of the opening as this door seal here closes against the door this keeps water from getting inside the car and this additional seal is going to help seal it right up against the lower area so the tesla oem seal is sitting right here flush or a little higher water does go in for sure and now our new seal is helping seal air and wind around this lip so the double seal is a great idea sounds better sounds more like a uh, solid fitment so let's move on okay so let's take the b pillar seal and take a look at it one den is an open hollow seal the other is closed so obviously we want this hanging downward we want the closed end at the top all right so it's going to fit like this we're going to peel it off we're going to run it all the way down this edge right here and then we're going to trim this off where the molding or the lip ends so let's get to it nothing is visible and peel the red uh, packing down, placing it straight down. All the way down. So 
this is where the lip ends. This is where we think we should end this. Uh, you could run it behind the door, but it's not going to seal against anything, so it won't do any good. So just cut it off on an angle like this. Right at the bottom, say there. And then stick this on. That one, again, of course, is right on the driver's door. So rip the package open, take it out, and you're gonna find one for each side of the car, okay? So obviously the A-pillar has a driver's side and it also has a passenger side. So there are two in the A-pillar doors. Okay, now another thing on the A-pillar is that we want you to note that this is an L-shaped seal and this is EPDM sponge rubber, so it will resist ozone and it will not have any issues over time. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use, right or left. It's insignificant because you can simply turn it over to do the other side. But this is actually what it's gonna do. We want everyone to understand this. This is really a noise reduction seal because this seal is gonna go on the inside of this door and it's gonna close the gap between your fender and the door so wind cannot go in and cause turbulence and make road noise or allow noise to enter the vehicle. So let's get started and uh, show you more details about how it goes. Okay, so how do we install it in here? First of all, this door has to be very clean on the other side. I made it completely um, wiped down with alcohol. And now you wanna, actually we're gonna take it and feed it inside the door jam. So just drop it down in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to install it slowly. And you'll see it's gonna fit on the other side of the door, just like this, at the top with the pressure sensitive 3M VHB tape. And it's gonna run all the way down. And then when you close the door, it's gonna close up the gap. So let's take a look at how difficult this is to install. Again, we have not uh, installed this ourselves with this kit this is the first time only you can tell because i can't even can't even get the vhb tape off so pick the tape off and it holds on the sponge rubber really strong and then we're going to peel it down a few inches so we recommend you only do a couple inches at a time and different angles of the door will get it open for different amount of um, hand room to get behind it so let's just start, pull it down a few inches, and we're right on this side, right at the top. So put it below the line like this, and my finger is pushing on the back side. So I'm constantly curving it, putting pressure down. And now this is completely held to the back, and we're gonna continue to go down and then we're going to be working around the hinges and placing it very firmly on the back. So let's get a back view of how much pressure I'm putting on this side. You can see over here with my fingers, putting it right up against the edge of the door, pushing it down. So I imagine this is probably the hardest one to install just in terms of uh, comfort for your hands. So now I'm peeling off more of it and then pushing it back through. And now, again, pressure all the way down. And now I'm at the first top hinge or the upper hinge. So you're gonna have to work your fingers through and down and down on the seal. then you can see what's next we have to continue to lay it inside of the rubber bellow that holds all the cable jacketing 
and get all the way down the side of the door. So the only way is to use two hands, two fingers on the inside, two on the outside. So let's continue to go down. If you get it stuck and it's not even, just pull it up. We'll apply a lot of pressure when we're done. Get the pressure sensitive adhesive to really grab. So I'm about halfway done now. I might want to come on this side just to take another look at what we've got going on. You can see the gray tape here as it's not installed yet. And we're simply placing it on. And it's probably a good idea to lower the window. Then you can hang over the car like this. And get the fingers inside. And again, don't let all the red tape backing tape off. You don't want it getting dirty, touching any areas that might not be clean. And now I'm right by the rubber bellow. It's pretty hard to see, but hopefully everybody understands that you're basically putting it on this lip and then putting pressure on this side, pushing it down all the way. This should make a huge difference, I think, in wind noise. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this more tape out and continue working my way around. And all of the uh, pressure sensitive adhesive should be making contact on the inside of the door. I'm going to shoot over my shoulder tomorrow. Show this. Maybe from right inside. So now you can see I'm almost to the bottom of the door. I'm gonna put this inside, just to tuck it in here, help direction it. And come back up here. Okay, so this is how much I have left, about a foot left. And again, same thing. tucking it down on the inside and this rubber piece just don't be afraid to move it out of the way putting pressure on it on the inside now I'm pulling the tape down hopefully you can see this and it does sit nicely on the lip or the edge of the window the door Now, and don't worry about moving it. You might have to lift it off. You might have to reposition it. So I'm right at the bottom now. And I'm gonna take my scissors and make the first cut. And now again, uh, make sure everything is clean. You don't want this touching anything. And I'm gonna take the first cut to uh, shorten this to make it workable. So cut it, you know, a few, maybe an inch below the door edge. You will have to trim it slightly. And then same thing now, we're just gonna continue to push it down. Applying pressure all the way down the edge. Now I'm putting some nice even pressure on the inside of the door and now the very bottom we're gonna cut off so it sponge rubber does cut easy and then we'll trim it up a little bit better but go all the way back up and check it and make sure you're rolling the edge over so the adhesive lip side is inside the car See right here, just keep pressing it down, pressing it down. All right, now let's take a look at how this fits and how well we've installed the first piece. And again, I'm rolling it, making sure it's inside the car. So I'm kind of pushing down on it, folding it around. We don't want it sticking out the door.
So from this side, let's take a look before we close it. You can see if you have tape showing. So it's a good idea to go back to this area here. I gotta open the door some more. I'm gonna put some more pressure on it. On the inside. And again, feeling it all the way down, making sure the adhesive is stuck down. So don't be discouraged. We've picked the hardest one to put on first for sure. Okay, let's, let's, let's close it and see how the seal works. So take a look at it from this angle. And you can see straight inside. So it should look like this when you've got it all installed correctly with no glue or any of the adhesive showing. This way the door closes, the seal closes off this wind entry area. All the way down to the bottom. And we're going to push this down a little bit better right here. Go ahead, go. Yep. So if with the squeegee we've given you, take it and use it to apply some reverse pressure. And then of course, check it from inside the door and make sure that you are, excuse me, you are using your hand on the inside, pushing it all the way down so it sits flat. And let's try closing the door now.